There may be no world-class beer bar in Boulder yet, but we must note that at the end of the day, we're still serving food and drink. Therefore, any restaurant with a liquor license could be considered an indirect competitor. However, there are a few establishments in town that we see as more direct competitors. The Mountain Sun Brewery, located two blocks east of the Pearl Street Mall, offers some of the finest craft beer in town. Their food is inexpensive, they have a very popular happy hour, and the bar itself screams anti-corporate, which the town of Boulder seems to love. How do we compete with the Mountain Sun? Well, we will carry many more beers, perhaps more than 200 more beers even, and the quality of our beers will be superior overall. Our food menu will be both healthier, which the town of Boulder also loves, and more unique for an establishment serving such high quality beer. We will also have a full liquor license, meaning we have the right to serve beer, wine, and spirits. Presently, Mountain Sun only has the license to serve beer and wine, not spirits such as a scotch on the rocks or a martini. Last but certainly not least, we will actually carry two to three draft handles of Mountain Sun beer at our bar. Therefore, from the consumer's perspective, if you're considering to either go to the Mountain Sun or to our beer bar, our bar could offer you that pint of Mountain Sun FYI PA you've been craving, then a glass of Delirium Tremens Belgian Strong Ale, then a smoked lager from Bamberg, Germany. Your buddy, who happens to not really like beer, could have a Knob Creek bourbon on the rocks or a mixed drink. The point is, our bar offers a one-stop shop for the best beer in Boulder, period and does not alienate the non-beer drinker. Old Chicago, on the other hand, is located on the west end of the Pearl Street Mall. We would, sum would summarize Old Chicago as having a phenomenal location, a good many beers, 110 to be exact, and offering typical bar food. So how will we trump the Old Chicago business model? Well, we will have over twice as many draft lines and beers in general, but more importantly, Roughly 40% of Old Chicago's beer selection is light lagers. There is little rhyme or reason as to why so many of their beers have roughly the same taste profile. We feel their corporate mentality may just be hindering their variety and potential. The quality of our beer, to the lay individual or the beer connoisseur, will be far superior to that of Old Chicago. Also, as opposed to serving bar fare, we'll be serving food that would be considered unique in quality even in a non-bar restaurant setting. Interesting to note, since Old Chicago has been in business since 1976, its stagnant, we'll succeed because we are the old guy on the block philosophy, couldn't be bothered to offer a large selection of rotating beer, exclusive beer release events, or beer education via an extensive beverage guide. Finally, we would like to note Falling Rock Tap House in downtown Denver, about a 40-minute drive from our prospective location for our bar on the Pearl Street Mall. Falling Rock, we concede, is presently the best beer bar in Colorado. Their beer selection, relationships with distributors, and general passion for beer is second to none. However, we would like to classify, classify the food at Falling Rock as greasy and mundane at best. What's more, like the Mountain Sun, the Falling Rock does not serve spirits. In fact, to our knowledge, Falling Rock does not serve wine either. In addition, although the beer is exceptional, the physical beer menu leaves so much to be desired. It's divided into just three categories, pale, amber, and dark, lacking any specific information on the beers themselves. As far as educating the average customer via this menu, Falling Rock does an abysmal job. Finally, we can say authoritatively, having visited many, many times, the bartenders do not welcome non-beer connoisseurs with open arms. For instance, we've seen on several occasions an individual saddle up to the bar, order a Bud Light or a Brown Ale, and be chastised for their lack of beer knowledge. We believe that those serving craft beer ought to take off their pretentious masks and welcome newcomers to the industry by politely guiding them towards a beer they may enjoy and offering them a sample of some unobtrusive lighter brews. No one is born a beer connoisseur. We find that the Falling Rock caters only to the beer connoisseur, not the other 98% of the population. True, our bar will cater to a very small portion of the population as well, but we will never turn people away because of their lack of beer knowledge. Rather, we see a newcomer to the craft beer industry 
as an opportunity to educate and enlighten. Of course, we will certainly provide another level of service over your average bar serving Budweiser, but the harder we work to be the best beer bar in the state, the more free word of mouth advertising we will receive from our patrons and the more of a destination we will become. We have traveled to dozens and dozens of beer bars and feel we have an excellent handle on how to be remarkably successful in the beer industry. Just as we have looked at Ashley's and Ann Arbor and noted the town is saturated as far as beer bars go, we expect our future potential competitors in Bowler to look at our bar and say, the Gabriel brothers have done a phenomenal job with their beer bar, plus Bowler is just too small to support another and move on to another town. And hence, we plan to have a competitive advantage in Boulder for many, many years to come. As a result of our world-class offering, we plan to jump right into journalist lists of top 10 beer bars in the country very soon after opening. Yep, top 10 in the country. Given our passion and our extensive research, we believe this to be a very bold but realistic assertion. And now I will offer the floor to my brother, Ben, to discuss what he's been working on so diligently over the past four years, our financial information. Thank you.